everyone, my name is Giovanna Proenz and today we're going to talk about 36 Views, the project of CS50 introduction to databases with SQL Week 0. You have to do all of these exercises or the normals to get your grade, but I highly recommend you taking both exercises because they will make you understand better this first week of CS50 SQL. All right, for this exercise, we're going to receive uh, a database with the Japanese artists uh, of Hokusai that created 36 woodblock prints and another uh, artist that I forgot his name for now, Hiroshi, Hiroshi, I don't know exactly the spelling, but we're going to work with their printings. All right, we're going to work, we're going to analyze according to the tasks. Before we see exactly the paintings and the table we have, you have to download the distribution code in here. So you have to follow these steps, copy this line, put in your terminal, then copy this line, those other line, and then you will be able to get the folder for this project that is views. So we're going to have 10 files for SQL and one file for the database. If you want to see the database, you have to double click views.db, click in open anyway, and select the PHP light admin. So it will display for you the database. As we can see in here, this database contains one table called views. And in these views, we have this table with one, two, three, four, five, six, nine columns. So in these columns, we have ID, that is the primary key for the table. So the unique value that we will be able to know that this is the line one, line two, line three of our table. We have the column print number, so we know which print we're talking about. We have the English title, we have the Japanese title, the artist, the average color, brightness, contrast, and entropy. We're gonna work with these values in here to solve all these 10 tasks they're asking us to do in here. All right, to start our code, we need to right click here, views the folder, click in open and integrate terminal, and it will open up for you the terminal. And to start the SQL terminal, you have to write SQL line three space and the name of your database. In our case, the name of the database is views.db. And then we have the SQLite terminal for us. All right. Let's take a look at the first question. So if you're not able to open up this database here, you can see the content of your table by writing dot schema. And this dot schema will show you the name of the table and all the columns with the types. So ID will be an integer, integer text, numeric, and so on. Or if you want to see the content of the table, you can do the query command select a star. That means all the columns from and the name of our table is views. And don't forget the semicolon. Once you click enter, everything we saw in the database, let me zoom out a little bit, a little bit more, we will see here in our terminal. All right, so we have all the content we saw in there. I'm going to zoom in because I want you to see the things that I'm coding. Okay, to clear your terminal, you can do Ctrl L, it will clear like I did right now. And then you can use the second approach if you're not able to open up your database. Okay, so let's just start the first task. Write a SQL query that a translator might take interest in. List side by side the Japanese title and the English title for each print. Ensure the Japanese title is in the first column, followed by the English title. So our goal is to get all the content we have in our table, but we only want to display the, the column English title and the column Japanese title. To do that, we're going to use the select command. We're going to say the name of our two tables. Here they say specifically that the Japanese title should be the first column and the English title should be the second one. So first we're going to get the name of this column. So Japanese title, comma, English title from the name of our table that is views. So if we run this command in here, we will see, oops, I think I made a mistake. So Japanese, I said Japanese. So Japanese, if I get the command here and I print, it will display the name of all the paintings, putting first the Japanese title and then the English title. So we're done with the first task. All right, let me clear here. Now let's go to the second one. So for each file, we need to put the command so CS50 can grade us at the end. Okay. The next one, we're going to write a SQL query to list the average colors of prints by Hokusai that include river in the English title. So here we have some conditions. We don't want to display all the, the paintings. We only want to display the average color. And if we take a look in here, average color is the name of this table, this column here, where the artist is Hokusai. And here we have this artist with name Hokusai, but also where the English title contains the word river. 
So for example, let's see if I can find one that contains the word river in here. I think in this first case we don't have any with the word river, let's see. So we should display this line, for example, and other rows as well. So how are we going to do that? We're going to select again, and which column we want to select? We want to select average colors, average colors. So we're going to select average colors from views, and we need to set a condition. The first condition will be the name of the artist. So where, the word where, that will allow us to set the condition where artist is equals true, and we're going to get the name of the artist. So it's Hokusai. Okay, I'm going to paste in here. And let's try it out only with this part. So if I run the SQL command, so average, average, oops, I wrote average color, I think, average color. So, okay, now I think it will work, average color. It will display all the average colors of all the paintings. But we want only the paintings with the word, uh, the title, English River. So I'm going to add an 